Okay, I'm going to show you three ways to hand chain Starbella Jazzy. And um, this is also referred to as Starbella Strata. So in the first example, I'm going to take the yarn straight from the skein and I'm going to hand chain it. And that's what happened here. And this color here is Raspberry Jam. And then this one I took out of the skein and I fluffed it up. Um, and I expanded the whole skein. So this comes out fuller, and but it's shorter. So I'll show you how to do that. And then for the third example, I'm going to show you how to make a single necklace out of this, which is the way I love to wear this. And I will be cutting the uh, whole skein in half, and then I'll show you how to create two necklaces out of one skein. So this is one skein, and this is one skein. So let's get started with this one first. So when you remove the wrapper, it looks like that, and that color is Paradise. So when you see how easy this is, you will be amazed. So to start out with, I'm going to start with a slip knot, and to make that, I just make a loop like this, and the strand that goes over the top will come around the back like this, and I'll pull that strand forward. You'll notice there's a knot side and a slip side. So I want to make this strand big enough to get my hands through. And for starters, I could keep it small and just do like a little finger chain right here to keep it small so I can put my end in. So let me make that even smaller than it is, like that. And I'm just going to pull the first loop through like that. So now I'm going to expand my loop and I'm going to go ahead and keep grabbing the working yarn, which is right here, and just pull a strand through the loop that's on my hand. Just like that. You could probably get this done easily in about three minutes. Maybe two. I'm going slow here for the lesson. See, I'm giving it some height when I pull it through like that. These colors are really pretty. They go with a lot of different fashions. Okay, now I'm going to speed it up so I can get down to the end and show you how to finish off. So you just keep, and I have this hand underneath the loop that's on my hand to kind of stabilize it. I just move it up every couple of times. Then I'm bringing a loop through. So at the very end, I want to bring this loop through a really small loop like I did in the beginning. So I would go like this and just create a super small loop at the end and then just bring that end through a really tight small loop at the bottom like this so it locks in place better. And then all you need to do for that end is just to feed it back into that tight loop. The last one like this. And you know what's great about this? You can easily pull this out and use it for something else. We're going to get a, um, we're going to get another, there's going to be other videos that show you all kinds of things to do with this, this yarn. It's so versatile. And you could take this and knot it at the end of your scarf like this. And I think that would be a cute little addition to it. So you would just knot each end. And then sew this, you don't have to sew it. I would just like push it back in like this. And if you're teaching kids how to do this, they can like take it apart and just keep remaking it. It'll keep them busy. So you might want to do this on the opposite side. And there, you have a cute little scarf. 
So that's how you hand chain the whole skein and these skeins are seven yards long and the finish measurement of the scarf is I would say just over a yard. I'll put the exact measurements in the uh, below the video. Okay so now next one is this one and for this one I had taken my skein of yarn out of the package and it was like this when it came out of the package and then you just go in and expand the whole thing like that all the way down the whole thing so this one has already been expanded right here oh all these little hairs and stuff okay so I've got my whole skein expanded right here so all I do for this scarf is to make the slip knot again like I showed you in the first one. Like this. And for this I like leaving the little uh, fuzzy thing out. If not you can just work that back in. I'm going to start out with a little loop again like that. And I'm going to bring that through. And I'm going to do the same thing where I'm bringing the working yarn through. The loop that's on my hook like that. So the loop opens up and it's big enough to be on my entire hand but you could also just have it be on your fingers and do smaller loops. So it's whatever your preference is and you can just make them, take them apart, make them again since it's only a couple minutes. So you could whip up a lot of these while you're watching TV. I'm going to move my sample over. Okay, so get down to the end of this one. And again, I want to come right to the end of my yarn. And I'm going to just, I'm not even going to completely put this last loop up on my hand. I'm just going to bring it out a little bit and then bring that strand through here. And then I'm going to tug on that a little bit to lock it. Now another thing I can do is bring that together with the other side and make like a little cowl with it. And I could have done that with the other, the first, the first hand chaining that I showed you. All you have to do is like tie these together and then feed the ends in. You may have wanted to use a longer end so that you can feed the ends back in like that. So you could have a cute little cowl like that. Okay, the last thing I want to show you is this. I am going to take this color, which I love, it's called Shipwreck. For the third example, I took one full skein of Shipwreck and I cut it in half. And I want to make like a just a necklace out of this one strand necklace. So I'm leaving about six inches on my starting chain. And then I'm going to make a, a um, starting chain right here, which is a slip knot. And I'm just going to do the slip knot like I showed you before. And then I'm going to do a small loop in the beginning, like this. And then I'm going to open this loop up all the way onto my hand. And then I am just going to go ahead and do several chains. I want them big and I want them loose like this. So I'm just going to do this and depending on how many loops you want for just a necklace and how long you want this to be, like this might even be long enough right here, um, I just want really loose loops for my necklace. I guess I'll just go ahead and finish the whole thing. Okay, so at the end I've got about this much and this is I think going to be my last loop here. I'm going to make this a little bit small at the end, then I'm going to not bring this all the way through and I'm going to just do a tiny little chain here. It's almost like a finger chain instead of a hand chain. Then I've got that little loop and I'm going to bring this all the way through. And then when I pull it, it's got like a little chain right there and then you've got a little chain at the other end. So now this becomes the tie in the back of your neck for your necklace. 
So what you could do too is take match up your little knots here and then trim them so that they're your ends are both the same. But that's how you make a cute little hand chain necklace. I love this. I would wear this with a white shirt and a pair of jeans. I just love it. You could wear this as a headband also. Be pretty neat. So make sure you watch all the videos associated with this one yarn because we have come up with a bunch of ideas on, on beautiful things that you can make with this. And um, the links to everything, this yarn, everything are listed below. And I want to thank you for watching and make sure that you subscribe to our channel.